Bristol Community College, Mathematics with Dan Avedikian, Math 060, Topics in Developmental Mathematics, Section 4.3, Problem 11. This is Section 4.3, Problem 11. It says, write each decimal as a percent. So the first one is 0 0.43, that's as a decimal. So to make it a percent, what you do is take the decimal point where it's written between the 0 and the 4, move it two positions to the right, so it becomes 0, 0.43 percent, but really nobody that I know of would write that far left zero, so you, you would just say it's 43 percent. The next one, part B, is 4.3. Write that as a percent. Take the decimal where it's written, it's written between the 4 and the 3, move it two positions to the right. So one position comes after the 3, and then you, you've run out of room. But you go another position, you create a blank spot, which you can fill in with a 0. So 4.3 as a percent is 430 percent. The next one, part C, 43.5, that's its decimal form, right, as a percent. Take the decimal where it's written, and initially it's written between the 3 and the 5. To make it a percent, you move two positions to the right. So one position, you come after the 5 or to the right of it. Again, you've run out of room, but you can still go another position anyway. You create a blank spot, which you would fill in with a 0. So it would be 4350. Percent. That's 4,350%. That's a big percentage, but that is the percent equivalent of 43.5. Next, part D, 435. Write that as a percent. That's going to be a very big percent. Take the decimal where it's written, move it two positions to the right. Well, it's really not written anywhere with 435, so you can assume it's in there and it's after the 5, or to the right of the 5. So you move it two positions to the right. There's, there's nothing to move, but you move two anyway. They're, they're blank. And you fill in those blank areas with zeros. So it would be 4, 3, 5, 0, 0 percent. So that's 43,500 percent. That's a very big percent. And the next one, part E, 0.435. Right? So same numbers, but that decimal makes a big, big difference. Convert 0.435 into a percent. So in its percent form, what you would do is take the decimal where it is, just before the 4, move it two positions to the right. So when you do that, it would come in between the 3 and the 5. So that would give you 43.5%. And finally, part F, 0 0.0435. Write that as a percent. So take the decimal where it's written, initially it's to the left of the 0. And you would move it two positions to the right, which would put it between the 4 and the 3. So when you do that, you have 0, 0.35 percent. But again, that far left 0, nobody would really bother to write that. So instead of 0, 0.35 percent, you would just write that as 4.35 percent. Like that.